The battle over women's health care in the state intensified today. Governor Perry says Texas is ready to launch a state-run women's health program. Only state, not federal money, will be used, and abortion providers will be cut out of that system. KXAN's David Scott has more. This latest spat between the governor and the president is really over places like Planned Parenthood because the governor insists no Texas taxpayer money will go to any health care provider that also provides abortions. Now let me be clear. Texas will not allow a program that includes abortion providers or their affiliates like Planned Parenthood to be a provider. The program provides women screenings for breast and cervical cancer, diabetes, hypertension, among other services. But when the state declared it would exclude clinics that provide abortions, the White House declared it would drop its payments at the end of this year. We've asked for those dollars to come back in the state of Texas so that they can serve these low-income women. Uh, and Washington, D.C. has said no. They basically said, if you don't do it the way we want it done, then you're not going to get your money back. Planned Parenthood claims that nearly half the women in this program have been getting their health care at Planned Parenthood clinics. That will now change. This program, in fact, has worked really successfully for more than five years. What has changed is the politics around this issue, and I think the efforts to exclude Planned Parenthood health centers, um, I think at best what we're going to see is that fewer women can access these services. But this fight is not over. The next battleground could be the courts. And, and I would hope that Planned Parenthood would respect the will of the people of the state of Texas and stop pursuing these court battles. Well, that was David Scott reporting. Planned Parenthood is suing the state over this. The lawsuit scheduled to begin November the 8th.